SA by note 5 external confirmation what is a confirmation confirmation is a process of gathering audit evidence independently from a source outside the organization a third party is required to confirm their balance with that of clients let us move into the standard part what are the external confirmation parties a third party external to the organization includes the following debtors confirmation creditors confirmation bank confirmation and legal confirmations what is an external confirmation an audit evidence obtained as a result of direct written response to the auditor it's a direct written response to the auditor from a third party it may be in paper form or it may be in another forms external confirmation procedure what are the external confirmation procedure how it is done auditor shall maintain a control over external confirmation request which includes the following determining the informations to be confirmed that means the amount to be confirmed based on the materiality selecting appropriate third party he should not be connected with the organization in any manner designing confirmation request the way the matter the content the performer and properly address and send it in a paid envelope sending request including following request if if any let us move into the management refusal to allow the auditor to send the confirmation request sometime management may be in a situation for not cooperating with the confirmation request in such a cases auditor should enquire the management reason for refusal and access their validity evaluate the possibility of romum risk of material misstatement perform alternative audit procedure that means in case of flipkart like new generation online delivery system they have a delivery note in case whether the external party is not confirming a balance check the delivery receipts and confirm that is the alternative audit procedure if management refusal is unreasonable or auditor is unable to perform alternative procedure then he shall communicate that matter to those charges with governance and consider the effect on his report it is a disclaimer section 705 ss 705 it, it is contained there limitations of scope let us go through the glance management refuse the auditor management ask the auditor not to seek the external confirmation why auditor shall ask the management for the reason why management is making a restriction for not taking a confirmation auditor shall evaluate the reason circumstances and chances of material misstatement if the reason is valid accept management request perform alternative audit procedure example the delivery notes able to perform the procedure okay if the auditor is unable to perform alternative audit procedure then modification of the audit report under SA 705 unreasonable invalid don't accept the management request it will be amounting to the limitations of scope under SA 705 reliability of response what is the reliability of response auditor shall determine whether external confirmation procedure are to be performed as a substantive audit procedure it should be reliable while determining the reliability and appropriateness of such procedure he shall consider the following factors objectivity of confirming third party what is the, why they are confirming knowledge about the matter he should be well informed about the matter to be confirmed willingness of the third party to respond we are discussing in one by one objectivity of the confirming party a response to the confirmation request may not be reliable 
if the confirming party is related to the client entity if there is a related party transaction then the objectivity may be affected the confirmation should be taken from the people who is not connected with the entity in any manner knowledge about the matter reliability of response depends upon the knowledge of the confirming party about the subject matter being confirmed willingness of third party to respond sometime third party may not be willing to respond for various reasons what are the various reasons maybe a time consuming affair costly affair or they may be have concerns about acceptance of responsibility for such response in such case third party confirmation may not be practicable and reliable he has to adopt alternative audit procedure after performing alternative audit procedure if he has not obtained the needed information then sa705 modification of audit report doubt cast on reliability of a response if the auditor doubts about reliability of a response he shall obtain further evidence to resolve the doubt perform alternative audit procedure and comes into a conclusion if there is a doubts on reliability of response if response found unreliable if the response is found unreliable it may indicate fraud risk factor he shall consider the effect on nature timing and extent of other audit procedure forms of confirmation request positive confirmation request and negative confirmation request what is a positive confirmation request let us move into the positive confirmation request it ask a third party a confirming party to reply to the auditor in all case he has to reply on all case whether it is a plus balance or minus balance either indicating agreement or disagreement with the given information we are giving a balance it may be agree or disagree he has to give his balance or asking the third party to provide information that is called a positive response a response to the positive confirmation request is ordinarily expected to reliable if reply to the request is not received within a reasonable time he may send an additional confirmation request that means an auditor firm spending a lot of money with respect to the postage for the external confirmation request for time they can follow up they are doing for time follow up what is a negative confirmation request it ask a third party confirmation has to be done by a third party to respond directly to the auditor not to the firm not to the client only if there is a disagreement whatever the balance given to them is disagree in that situation respond otherwise don't respond with the information provided in the request it considered as less persuasive than positive confirmation request when auditor use negative confirmation auditor should use them if and only if following all conditions are present the risk of material misstatement romm is low internal control is very effective items contain small amount low exception rate is expected no reason to believe that recipient may disregard this request non response to the positive confirmation request it means failure of a third party to respond or request returned undelivered in case of each non response he shall perform alternative audit procedure however if he determine that a response is necessary and thus alternative audit procedure does not bring sufficient and appropriate audit evidence he should determine is impacts on audit report it is a limitations on scope he has to modify his audit report under sa705 exception it means a response indicating disagreement of third party the balance our balance and their balance is disagree in such a cases auditor shall investigate the exceptions he has to sit with the clients and do the reconciliation and find out the reason for variance 
these are the aspects we are covering the debtors as well as sundry creditors their misbalance may lead to a situation where it will significantly affect the financial statement then as far as bank confirmation process is concerned auditor will directly go with the bank and collect in case of the material balances in case of legal confirmation he shall consult with the legal counsel for future any case which is unfavor to the organization thus making a contingent provisions against the same this is our small discussions about the external confirmation thank you for watching the same